Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to tag. Um, I'm doing a live tagging episode in this video for this design. Just as a little FYI, I already recorded this video, and that's why you see the tags here. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning this right now is because unexpectedly in this video, I decided to check the information on the niche, check the statistics, and just to kind of prove how profitable the niche could potentially be, and not potentially be, but it is, and there are people making money already off this niche. And the reason why I'm even mentioning this is because before you watch and go on to the video, I want you to know that I did certain steps to get to that point to figure out if the niche was a money-making niche. And the information that you're going to see in the end portion of this video where I just confirmed if it was money-making is probably worth on its own money, the, the part of the video. Uh, so this is a free video. It's just a matter if you want to Go through it, learn it, and watch it if you want. It's out there. It's for the taking. Go ahead and watch it. Enjoy. I'll talk to you guys soon, and I'll let the video roll. All right? See you soon. Uh, I actually showed how I created the design on my second channel, so I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Now, a little FYI, I am going to be doing some um, updates to the... I already Well, I already did the updates, you could see here, to the design. This is the original design, okay? Let me go ahead and click on it. And just a small difference, made it a little bit smaller. Uh, the flag doesn't extend all the way to the right-hand side with this design because this design is specifically created for uh, the products that are right here. So I kind of wanted to make sure I do a little bit of a better job with these designs. So I'm just uploading them right here real quick. And it will make it a look a little bit cleaner. I could have used a different version of the image. I could have even used the original. Uh, but like I said, I'm just trying to maximize the design, trying to make it a little bit cleaner, a little bit better. Um, I immediately see some of these products are not automatically enabled. So let me just go ahead and head over to my enabler. Let me go ahead and enable all the products and then boom, they're all enabled. Okay. And like I said, it was just a little thing to help me make things a little bit more organized but yeah welcome to the video i'm going to be tagging this design if you want to see how i created the design i'll leave a link in the description box down below to the second channel so you guys can get a look as to my kind of viewpoint as to how i created it things like that it's actually a really simple design and it's super super simple so nothing complicated about it um, but it does have to be resized and things like that for uh, the design but anyways today we're going to be working on the tagging i'll do like the resizing and all that probably off camera just to make the, you know life a little bit easier uh, because there's really no reason for you guys to watch that probably be pretty boring for you guys anyway but let's go ahead and jump into the tagging before I do let me increase my volume here so I could kind of hear myself in my mic and uh, let's get started so all right so I searched the main keyword of the design right so I stand for the flag and kneel for the cross that's the main concept of the keyword for this design. But with that being said, this design could rank for a lot of other things. It could rank for American patriotism type of type of keywords. It could rank for religious type like Christianity, uh, Christian American, a lot of different things, um, maybe even Catholicism, Catholics, you know, so uh, it works, you know, in terms of that kind of concept. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see here, what are the keywords associated with this main focused keyword? Now, there's not too many results here. We're looking at 301 total results, and I'm going to do research here. So I'm going to hit grab tags, and this is the rocket tagger tool from uh, Redbubble. And basically what it will do is it will analyze from a most relevant perspective all the different keywords uh, associated with every single one that's posted. So uh, right away, I'm just going to take this, right, copy it, and I'm going to paste it here. So let me go ahead and increase this. But what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm just copying these tags, right? And I'm pasting them in my notes. You could see here. Now, this is specifically for the I stand for the cross type keyword, right? So I stand for the cross type keyword, and I'm going to set that up in a bucket, okay? So this is a bucket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my kind of conception for these keywords. So if I was to look at this design, I would say, okay, how can I get this to tag outside of my keyword? So any kind of keyword outside of this concept. All right. But before I do even that, by the way, something I do recommend is doing just a quick analysis and see how your designs stack up 
to the competition. So this is the first one. This is the second one. If we go here to the best selling for this keyword, I'm, I'm, I am definitely curious, right? These two are the best selling. You got this one, this one. This has no relation to what my design is about. Uh, this one's a really nice one, works well, right? So we got a few here. And, um, you know, it's just, you know, so hopefully mine can stand out a little bit. It's definitely a different style. I think mine is, you know, like I said, a different style. There's really no way, other way to put it. So that can kind of help me and come to my aid in the event where somebody wants something a little bit different. So that can kind of help, right? So now that I, that I got that taken care of, I need to look for other keywords. So I'm going to search for other buckets. So we have the word here, American, right? So American is really, really broad, 542,000. For me, it's a little too broad. I'm not going to be searching for that. I'm not going to run the tagger on that. Let me guys, let me see if you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys can see my browser here. Okay, so I'm not going to run the tagger on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this keyword. So I have different concepts here. We have patriotic. We have American flag, U.S. Independence Day. That's pretty awesome. Let me see Independence Day if there's any kind of things that could potentially relate. Um, I'll leave Independence Day alone. Never mind. But American, let's say, let's say patriotic, patriotic. American. Let's see how many now keywords are there. So 56,000. So we literally decreased the population of competition by 10 times at that amount right there. And so we have patriotic American, patriotic design. We have American flag design, American Independence Day. And if I'm curious to learn about like, let's say American flag design, I can click on this and I can review it and see, are there designs that are selling outside of just simply an American flag, right? So, and there are, right? You could see here that there are. And uh, yeah, so there, there are some stuff that are a little bit different. So this one stands, this, and this is the exact uh, design that I'm going for. So I think that might be a good keyword that I'm going to use. So we have American flag. It's got 102,000, okay? And what I'm not, ne I'm not necessarily going for that keyword American flag, but what I'm doing is I'm going to run the tool on it, right? So here we have patriotic American. I'm going to take this, I'm gonna just going to copy it for now, and I'm going to paste it here in my bucket list, okay? American flag. And then we have patriotic American, all right? I'm going to take that and paste it down here as well. Now, keep in mind what I'm doing is I'm creating buckets right now. So I'm creating these buckets of keywords so that in the future, whether I'm using this design or I'm creating future designs, I'm going to go back to those buckets and utilize them, right? So here, let me go ahead and delete this because you are only supposed to have one browser at a time, but let me go ahead and take this and hit grab tags. And so what it's doing now is it's researching all the keywords for the patriotic American niche that are, are most relevant in terms of the keywords that show up. That's a good amount of keywords. So we're going to take this and we're going to paste it here. Okay. Now my design is pretty specific, right? So uh, certain keywords might not necessarily apply. That's why this is sort of a delicate situation. That's why I figured I would um, show you guys how to do it here. Right? So patriotic American, let's go ahead and take that. Let's add it here and let's do the same thing. Hit search and did I, did I just search for it? The same thing? Let's see. American flag. Yeah, I think I did. I think I placed all these different tags here. Let me get rid of that. Paste them down here in this bucket and American flag. And so, guys, once again, we're taking these keywords and we're going to apply them in future designs. This is why I say it's beneficial to have a store with a niche, like a, a similar consistent type niche. And so that when you accumulate these keywords, you can always kind of go back to them, apply the list, things like that. But, you know, it, it works any kind of way you want it to work. So here we have American flag. Boom. All right. So these are three different buckets. Now what we could do is we could take a keyword from any of these. Right. So um, anyone that kind of applies. So I could read through these. So here I, uh, I stand for the flag and kneel for the cross. Um, I stand for the flag, kneel for the cross, deployed military vet, special ops, combat troops, armed forces, veteran, soldier, kneel for the cross, soldier. So that's a keyword that I actually would apply in my tags, and it does fit in a bucket. So 
a lot of people might ask, like, why would you go specifically for these keywords to apply to your design? Well, the reason why is because I know that these specific tags already apply to my design, but I'm not going to use them because they're too competitive, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my territory by using keywords that are relevant to these keywords and therefore by proxy the keywords that I'm selecting here are relevant to the main concepts. The main concepts are relevant to each other, right? Because this is related to this, which is related to this. Therefore, these keywords are related. And that gives me, in terms of relevancy, a higher standpoint in Redbubble's eyes. If I take some keywords and then I just add my own randomly, that could or maybe might not work because remember, if I'm basing it off of my own mentality, um, Redbubble might not see that in terms of data. And Redbubble doesn't have a built-in AI that we know about. It has a data system. So it's using a structural model and structural models are referred to like in the coding world, structural model off of a database and the database collects the different tags. And based on those different tags, they have relationships to each other. Each design has a relationship to each other. And there's a reason why, for example, if I click on this design, right, there's a reason why certain designs show up here. It's because these are all related to this design. And the way that they figure out relation is through relevancy of tags. And they don't look at it from a word perspective, but they look at it from a mathematical data perspective. So for example, if you look at like, let's say if we click on this design, we look at the, the designs that show up, right? The tags that are in these designs is what determine the niche of the actual design and where it's being formatted into the categories that it's in, okay? If one of these designs started adding random keywords like the word fish or bear or uh, building or uh, Madison, right? Like random keywords, it wouldn't show up here anymore because it's not related from a relevancy standpoint. Now, to us, that makes sense, right? But when it comes down to tagging, you don't want to make those simple mistakes that you could have easily avoided, right? And that's kind of why I'm going for the tool and that's what I'm using it for. And you guys know that saves me a lot of time. I don't have to necessarily think about these keywords. And right now, my goal is to go for 10 to 15 keywords for the sake of this video, I don't want to keep it too long, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and use. So the first keyword is Neil for the Cross Soldier, okay? I might as well add the, the title that I'm going for as well. So my title is exactly the same keyword that is listed here, which is I stand for the flag and Neil for the Cross. I'll take that, and I'll paste it here, and I'll paste it here as well, because it is my title, right? So that's what the title I'm going for. And right now, just like that, I have two long tail keywords, but really they're two keywords, right? And so now it's just a matter of process simulation, of, of elimination going for the right keywords, right? So we have American. Now I could easily use, for example, a keyword like American, but for me, once again, it's a little too competitive for where I'm trying to fit, right? So a little too much for me, um, but we can keep reading. So we have stand for the national anthem, that works, but that's not related necessarily to the actual design. If somebody searches for stand for the national anthem and they see my design, they might think my design is great and they might even buy it one day, but they're not going to buy it at that moment because they're not looking for that. They're looking for national anthem design, not stand for the uh, flag type design, right? So a little bit different, but it's a great tag that could potentially be used in the future. We have veteran, armed forces, combat troops, special ops, military vet, deployed patriot. We have deployed, we have patriot, we have American Republican. I stand for the flag, kneel for the cross, patriotic. We have Christian, which is spelled incorrectly. And just for the curiosity of it, let's go ahead and take this keyword and paste it here. I actually made a whole video talking about keywords that are spelled improperly, right? There are many people, many people, well, actually, it's probably not spelled improperly, right, if you think about it, because there's probably some sort of accent of how people write things like that. So, uh, Christian, I think it is spelled, but regardless, it's probably not spelled improperly, but you can use words that are spelled improperly that people are using because they are genuinely searching for it, right? And they are, sometimes they might spell incorrectly when they're searching for things on Redbubble, just so happens that they're tagged. Maybe your design is one of those tag designs that are spelled improperly. You show up, you end up getting a sale. It's very possible. All right. Um, this Animal Crossing stuff, like I said, it has nothing to do with our design. Referencing that other design I showed early, earlier. 
Uh, I stand for the flag near for the cross. Uh, I love Jesus. I love Jesus is a good one here. Um, I'm guessing it's a little bit competitive. I'm guessing it's a little bit competitive. Uh, let me go ahead and get rid of this. The comma. Uh, 9,783. That's actually not that bad. Um, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Why not? Um, and just from a relevancy perspective, it works for me. Right? So I'm going to keep that. And let's go back into the keywords. Let's see here. We have worship, patriotic, Bible, cross, faith, um, uh, Christian, sacrifice, I love God. I love God could work as well. Uh, American, but I'm going to leave that the way it is for now. American, patriotic. Uh, we have patriotic, Christian, American flag. Okay, technically it is about the American flag, but I believe American flag is what? Like 56,000 competition? Uh, which is not terrible. All right, 139. 139 is a little bit high. Is one? It's it's definitely a little high. Um, let's see here. We have American Christian. That's a definitely a keyword I'm using, uh, regardless of how uh, competitive it is. And this is what I call one of those pivotal keywords. Oh, this is not even that competitive. 3,600. That's pretty epic. I'm gonna use that one. Okay. So American Christian. By the way. Uh, if you have a keyword that is relatively competitive, that's perfectly fine, especially if you're going to be using social media marketing. And the reason why is because you got to remember your social media marketing is like steroids, okay? So if you were to normally get, let's say, 10 sales a year, okay, on the design without social media marketing, and then you do social media marketing, you can go from 10 sales to 140 sales a year. But the thing that makes it different is Part of those 140 sales, maybe about 40%, end up being organic sales. You might tell me, well, how are they organic? Well, because when you get those sales from the social media, what happens is naturally you're going to start ranking higher because remember what the Redbubble algorithm is based on. You have your keywords, you have your sales, and you have your favorites, right? If you start selling more and you have more sales than your competitors, you're naturally going to rank higher. When people see you from the organic standpoint, when they're searching on Redbubble based on your tags and you show up and you're higher in that ranking, you're naturally going to get more sales. So the thing about the social media marketing is you're not just creating sales from outside, but you're also ranking upward in the algorithm, which is a huge benefit. Okay. And the best way that I could recommend this or, or kind of explain it is if you guys are familiar with Merch by Amazon um, or even KDP, right? Kindle Direct Publishing or even FBA, anything on the Amazon niche. The way it works is um, not the niche, the website, the Amazon website is you have what's referred to as a bestseller ranking. And each product has a ranking based on the amount of sales that it receives. And you could actually reverse engineer the process and predict how many sales a product gets based on its bestseller ranking and the niche that it's in. And there's a few free softwares that can do that. I think like Jungle Scout has one, things like that. And it can predict how many sales it's getting throughout the month. The point with that is, and everything that I'm trying to say is that if I had an Amazon product and I go there and I market the product on social media, I get a, a bunch of sales, guess what happens? My bestseller ranking starts to go up. Even if it's slow, it starts to go up. So I might start off at, you know, 800,000. Um, when I get my first sale, I might, you know, in a month go up to 300,000. Now I'm getting five to 10 sales organically throughout the period of every two and a half days. When that happens, right, it's creating organic sales, but I keep going with the social media. And then with the social media, what happens is my five to 10 sales within two and a half days turns into t five sales a day, right? When I get five sales a day, I do more social media marketing. I get more organic sales. Next thing you know, I'm getting 10 sales a day, 20 sales a day, 30 sales a day. And I actually used to do that with my Merch by Amazon account. So uh, that was a little uh, long story there. But hopefully that kind of helped kind of understand the concept of how these algorithms work. So we have USA flag, which is good. We could definitely increase to it, um, like make it a little bit more long tail. But let's see how it looks. Uh, in terms of competition, we have USA flag. Let's search it. 103 results. It's not bad for sure. It's not bad for sure. Um, we can look around here. And I just want to see the type of art that's going down. And I have some cool designs that could actually work for this keyword. You know. Um, but it's not a bad design. I, I mean, it's not a bad keyword. I'll say that. We have the red, white, and blue. Okay, that's definitely a keyword I like, and that's a, definitely a keyword I'm going for. Okay, so red, white, and blue. Um, 
Now we have Eagle, uh, American Eagle Christian, Christian Cross. We'll take that, okay? I wonder if we added the keyword Christian American. Did we add the keyword American Christian? We did, okay. All right, so let's add that Christian Cross. And just for the sake of the video, let's see what the competition on the word Christian Cross is. 32,000 is really not that bad. Um, I have a few designs, maybe like eight or six designs now that I have been actively tracking, which are on the first page of competition anywhere between 300,000 and like 500,000. So um, I get sales every single day from those designs. But American Proud, I stand, I stand for the anthem, I stand for the flag. I could take I stand for the flag. Um, let's see how much competition that is. Now, I already have the keyword I stand for the flag and kneel for the cross, but that is much more specific. Um, so this is, has 1,300 results. We'll take it. We'll add it in. All right, so we have one keyword, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we have seven tags so far, and like I said, for now, my goal is 10 to 15 for the sake of this video. I kneel for the cross. Um, that's also a good one, so separating it is really good, and it's interesting that the AI tool, the uh, rocket tool, is able to do that for me. Like, it separated the keywords for me. Um, pretty interesting uh, that it did that, but patriotic, military, proud to be an American, U.S. Armed Forces. Um, what about Christian... Let me search Christian American. Let me see if I can get more keywords from that because this is the perfect Christian American design. So we have American. What if I took the word American and placed it before Christian and see what happens? 3,600. Okay, so same thing. All right, so let me go ahead and run the tool on this because I do want a little bit more. Now, a lot of this is like a lot of memes. So I see a lot of memes here. Um... But the memes are uh, popping up because of American Psycho. So that I'm going to have to just reject those keywords that do arise. But let me just go ahead and let me get into that. So go over here, paste, American Psycho, all this kind of stuff is, is not important to me. We have Groove, Funny, Thriller, Patriotic, American Psycho, Christian Bale, Sigma, uh, Cell Phone, Christian... Uh, Patrick Bateman, Christian Bale. Uh, yeah, so a lot of keywords have, have to do with that. I'm going to get rid of that. Let's go over here to the best selling. Let's see if it makes a difference. Um, let's see. So not really. Uh, let's go ahead and take the word Christian and let's place it in front of American. And then, yeah, same similar results. We're going to go over here to uh, hmm, trending. Let's see what's trending. Okay, uh, newest, let's see, okay, these are good, but at the, at the end of the day, I, I'm not going to check the tags for what's newest, I really don't care about that, but most relevant, if I could find a different keyword that is Christian American, maybe, um, maybe Catholic American, let's see, Catholic American, let's see, I spelled it wrong. Of course, it's not going to show up. Catholic American. By the way, guys, sometimes my spelling is bad because I just don't know how to spell. But other times it's actually bad because the microphone is in front of my keyboard and I can't see what the hell I'm doing. So a uh, little FYI about that. But we have Catholic American. Um, yeah. One na oh, one nation under God. That's a good one, right? One nation under God. I didn't think about that. Let's go ahead and copy and paste that and see. Uh, 393 results. This one works. Let's take this and let's run a search for that. Okay, so one nation under God is definitely a keyword I will use. And let's just wait for some results here. Okay, a lot of good designs here. Like really good designs. Uh, so I'm going to take this keyword list. I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, one nation under God. Copy that one. And I just, for the fun of it, just let me look at the lists here. We have One Nation Under God, USA, Patriotic, uh, Ronald Reagan, Republican, Conservative, uh, quote, uh, Power, okay, Christian Left, uh, Gene, Gene Ween, I don't know who that is, Jeannie Ween? 
I feel like I shouldn't be searching this here. Let's see. Oh, a singer. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, patriotism. Okay. Chris, let, let me see if pa Christian patriotism is a word. Okay. Christian patriotism. Let's see. It does show up. It does show up. I'm definitely going to go for this keyword. Um, let's add that. Okay. And let's add a few more. Okay. Uh, Americana, patriotic, patriot patriotism, war bomb you America, uh, airplane spotter, aviation enthusiast, we, we the people flag. We the people. We the people is more like 1776, right? Am I, am I right? Uh, American flag, US, USA flag, US, um, let's see here. One nation under God, be the light. Be the light works, okay? Um, it's very low competition. I could just tell, you know, my spidey senses are tingling. They're telling me low competition. 4,000. That's really, honestly, that's not that bad. I thought it would be worse. But this is a relatively cr Christian term, so I'm going to add it. And this all has to do with Christianity, obviously. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. So I have the ability to add one more. Let's say uh, USA Army. Is that a word I can use? USA Army. Um, and I'm just throwing some stuff out here. USA Army. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just go for that. Okay, so we'll just leave that the way it is. Now, for the sake of it, I do want to take the keyword and see what the deal is in the uh, uh, Redbubble tool, right? The Redbubble Analytics Pro. So I'm going to search here and just see some of the data behind it because there's a lot of data behind it, and I do want to predict kind of like how successful it could potentially become. So we're looking here at an average price of fifteen sixty seven. Uh, for the product. So I stand for the flag and kneel for the cross. Like on Redbubble, these are the stats, right? We have Google searches of 880, okay, and a, a competition of 146. So right off the bat, this is, from a competitive standpoint, it's a win, okay? 52 shops competing. And this is, a lot of the times, guys, when you see a low amount of shops like this competing, it means that there's going to be multiple stores that are creating more than one design. There could be, you know, 40 shops making two designs, right? And that adds up to 80. But you got to remember, there's 120 designs on each page. So 52 shops competing. People are raking in the dough on this. And it has 880 Google searches, 146 competition. This is the trend. Once again, trends are good. If they're consistent now some people think immediately trends have extreme spikes that is an example of a trend you do not want to go after okay a lot of people say oh I go for trends I go for trends what does that mean okay I go for things that have consistent search volume if there's a search volume spike aka a trend I'm not into it I don't want it to trends are basically fads in the world of print on demand I'm not into it because what's gonna happen is is yeah I might strike out get five ten sales but that design is dead you know, if I'm doing things my way and there's consistent search volume, then I can get sales 5, 10, 20 a month from that one design if I play my cards right, okay? So look at this, guys. So th do you guys remember what I just said? I just said 52 shops competing with a competition of 146, 888 searches. All of this information indicates to me that there's money to be made here. And to prove that, 52 shops competing, that's a low amount of shops. That means there's people making more than one design. Now, you got to reverse engineer. Why would people create more than one design? It's because they know it's profitable. Look at this, okay? You got the first, where is it here? It was just here. I was just looking at it. Here it is. You got this store called Woodbury Lake, 16 entries. This person created 16 designs for this keyword, 16. Okay, you think this person's not making money off the keyword? No, of course he is, or he, she, or whoever it is. Okay, this person made 15 designs for the for this keyword. This person made eight designs, right? Now, if I just take this keyword again, okay, and I go over here, and I paste, right? It says, I stand for the flag, kneel for the cross, 146 results. People, some people have 16 designs, some people have eight, whatever the number is, 14 designs, eight designs, eight, six I can go over here and I could dominate this whole entire niche if I sit here 
and I work on it for a week, right? Because if you do the math, I have seven days in the week, seven with 30 designs per day. That's 210 designs. If nobody else created a design, now you guys got to remember this, uh, you know, everybody knows about this niche already because I made the video. Okay. So, but I'm doing the math on this and I'm showing you this because you guys can take advantage of this mentality and utilize it to make a whole lot of money, right? This is why I say a lot of people do print on demand wrong because they don't use the statistics. They don't use the software. They just say, oh, I like cats. So let me make cat pictures. And guess what? They're no offense. They don't make money. And this is my whole point here. So 210 designs, right? Because uh, seven times 30, okay, is 210. There's already 146 designs. So if I, if you technically, if nobody else knows about this design, obviously this is not going to be the case because tonight, after I post this video, people are going to start creating designs for this niche. But 210 plus 146 equals 356. 210 divided by 356 or 346, or no, 356, sorry, 356 is equal to 58% or 59%. So technically, if you worked on this niche for a week, posting 30 designs a day, every day, you would own 59% of the niche. The competitors, it would take them too long for them to realize what's going on and for them to catch up in competition-wise. And you would also smoke them in terms of sales over time. And you would be noticed 59% of the time, theoretically, because of probability speaking. So what happens here, guys, is like I said, you have the ability to make money you just have to open your eyes as to how to properly do it. This is why I say to people, I studied this thing like a damn science, okay? When I, I, I told this story many times, but when I had my lowest month in sales, I had to figure out what am I doing wrong, what am I doing right, and how do I multiply my results, okay? With every game in the world, and Redbubble is a game, there's strategy, and there's winners, and there's losers, Okay? This is a perfect example of a niche that is a money-making niche, money-making, because by the way, guys, I talk about this in the course, but every single keyword is its own niche, meaning you look at the, you look at the stats here. This is people, you got most people creating one design, okay? You got a whole bunch of sellers creating one design, and then you look at the top 10%, the top four people, 16 entries, 15 entries, eight entries, six entries. They're the ones who are going to be racking in the cash. And based off of this, based off of this information alone, it's pure statistics. These guys hold the majority and they're appearing the most of the time. You guys hear when, you know, when they say the rich get richer, the rich get richer because they know what they're doing. People who are watching this video are now going to be opened up to a new reality as to how to actually figure out how to get the results, make the money, right? Get, upload the right designs, do the right tagging, all this kind of stuff. And the rich get richer, the poor get poorer, because when you have no idea what's going on, and you're trying to upload, once again, your cat designs or whatever you're doing, and you're uploading your art or whatever, whatever it is that you think you're doing, and you think you deserve sales, the stats are not in your favor, okay? So you got to go for things that where the stats are in your favor. And like I said, um, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do your own research. I'm just simply sharing my methods and you could obviously see it works, right? So this guy and this person right here, these two stores, they would not be creating 16 entries, 15 entries. If it wasn't worth anything, they wouldn't just sit there and create these, these designs if it wasn't worth anything, right? So Clearly, it's worth something, but the point is, is that I got my tags, I got my design, obviously, off camera, I'm going to fix the uh, placing and all that, I'm going to have to, like, you know, hit the edit button and, you know, make it a little smaller, change the background color, like, all of that, I'm going to have to do that off camera, because I don't want to bore you guys, but hopefully, guys, this video was really, um, I guess you could say an awakening for some people, realizing what maybe, you know, how they can prove, so... I'm all about masterminding. I'm all about talking about how to get better and how to get the sales easily. You know, there's a, there is truly a difference between working smart and working not smart, put it that way. And, um, somebody who's working smart is somebody who's looking for the right targets to hit. There's other people who are doing this shotgun method, which is not always the worst. It's not always terrible, 
But especially when you're targeting the wrong keywords and things like that, you're not going to get any sales. I told you guys this before, but there was somebody who watched my channel and she was doing print on demand for a year. I think she was from India. Her name was Sari. She might even be watching this right now. You never really know. But um, she had over 1,900 designs and she never got a single sale. Not a single one. Do you think that was by coincidence? Absolutely not. If, if she went on a, on a street corner and begged for an hour, she'd make more money than the whole entire year she was working on Red Bull. I'm not saying that to be insulting, but that's just the reality, right? She hadn't even got a single sale, okay? That's like slave labor. So she's not doing anything positive for her business, but what she's doing is she's hurting herself because she's not working intelligently. She might say, "Hey, let me save the the twenty bucks on a on a tool, or the fifteen or fourteen dollars on a tool like this. Let me save the ten dollars on on, on on a tagging tool, and look where she's going. She no sales, no nothing. Okay, she probably. I mean, a logical human being would have quit by then, but um, I don't know, right? I don't even know if she's watching or whatever the case may be. But you know, um, yeah." Uh, you know, the reality, guys, is there's winners, there's losers, and uh, losing is not an insult. I've lost for a very long time. I had to figure out how it is that I can win. And at the end of the day, this is a game. It's a strategy. And you got to learn how to play your cards right. And so hopefully this video opened your eye to that. And uh, if you guys want to see how I created the design, link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Bye.